and good morning my love muffins salutations on this beautiful october the 10th 2018 however whenever you see this video that is when it's meant for you my love muffins all right as we know there are no timelines in the spirit ram honey so when it's for you it is for you but yes, I am here with your daily guidance, your daily spiritual message, your daily reflection, all right, depending on what part of the world you are and what time you're seeing this. But I am just happy to be in your presence, to be in the midst of all us amazing souls vibing on one frequency, all right? Vibing, honey, vibing. <laughs> So I hope that you have meditated, all right? I hope that you have said your affirmations. I hope that you set an intent that today is going to be beautiful and it's going to show you the magic, all right? Ask God, the universe, to show you the magic. Where is the magic? That's where I'm trying to be, all right? So I hope that you have set those intents for yourself today. Make sure that you meditate, all right? meditate honey because as we know the new moon is in libra which is all about partnerships and relationships and how you show up for yourself and people so i've been definitely um a busy chatty little bee <laughs> amongst my um family friends hanging out with my sisters just doing group activities so you definitely want to make sure that you are meditating and and Having something that is going to keep you in those difficult moments and keep you in alignment and centered and grounded within your truth, all right, in your truth, okay? <laughs> so you definitely want to make sure that you meditate, all right, and set that intent for today, all right? I hope that you've had your green tea or your coffee, your beverage of choice, honey. I'm drinking my smooth move. Y'all know I am. So... I will not keep you guys long like I always do, but I do want to make sure that you look in that mirror today and tell yourself just how much you love you, all right? Like just look in that mirror, one-on-one -on -one eye contact, look at yourself and say, I love you. I love you. Yeah, point blank, quietness, eye contact. I know it might sound a little, you know, weirdish or whatever, but I definitely want you to make sure that you just look in yourself in that mirror today and tell yourself that you love you, that no matter what, you have your back, all right? Because as you can see from this title and just this, from every moon that we we you know we come into <laughs> um definitely as you get closer to the desires of your heart all right it's going to get not intense in a negative way but anything that is false anything that is not real anything that is not truth is going to melt away is going to disintegrate honey all right and why all that is happening all right as the spirit just wants me to make it clear on today for the simple fact that you are allowing yourself to grow without judgment. It's time to allow yourself to grow without judgment. It's time for those like little judgmental comments or beliefs or things that like to stick on us to fall the fuck off. <laughs> All right. And the more that you tell yourself you love you, the more that you connect yourself, the more that you accept yourself and see your value this is what's going to happen you are going to allow yourself to grow without judgment ah <laughs> doesn't it feel so good when you take off this right and this wrong and this yes and this no and it should be this way and you just flow doesn't it feel so good when you remove those conditions? And I truly feel like today there has been some conditions that you've been placing on yourself or maybe just in your relationships and just, just putting all kinds of demands and just not allowing whatever you're trying to cultivate to grow without judgment. So today we are reversing that. It's time to allow yourself to grow without judgment. 
it's time to take the black or blue white or black you know those kind of this or that you can't you can't categorize yourself i hope i said that word right <laughs> so i feel as though spirit really wants you to get that memo today that um just to allow yourself to grow without judgment all right <laughs> so um we're definitely going to pull from our goddess deck um, at the end but I just want to go ahead and get like right into it because honestly there's this it's so self-explanatory you know um basically you're a rebel with the cause you know they like to call the people <laughs> that follow their own things do their own follow their own vibe you know what I'm saying do their own thing they like to call us rebels all right but I love to say I'm a rebel with a cause and my cause is for me to be my authentic self and I truly feel as though the more you go the deeper you go in self-love it's always going to be you know we're always going to be growing growth doesn't stop all right so I feel as though we're definitely getting deeper into self-love self-worth and self-acceptance within your life and by you doing that has already unlocked some magical doors in your life and if you haven't this is your cue too my love muffin <laughs> it has already unraveled some amazing shit in your life when you have come to acceptance of yourself and how do you come to acceptance of yourself how do you do that how do you come to acceptance of yourself is where you allow yourself to grow without judgments that means if you make a mistake you're not beating yourself up that's why i said look at that self yourself in the mirror and tell yourself you love you that's your key all right so we're going to turn this card over and we have experiencing. So I just feel as though whatever you're going to be experiencing today, okay, is definitely going to have you. And I feel like it's internal. It's in, And it could be some shit that's going to happen. <laughs> but I just feel like it's not even negative but just some 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 emotions and just some things some clarity is going to come to make you think from some experiencing experiences that you will be experiencing today and out probably out this week um that are going to help you gain some clarity that are going to help you pull off the judgment because honey if i didn't tell y'all that i had a moment like that <laughs> the what was it yesterday you know my sister I, i'm just so tired and that's just a sagittarius in me i'm a, a naturally freedom i need to be free naturally <laughs> but i'm just so over this 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 right or wrong this way or that way no all is available to me so i want to use all you know if i if i could look at if i could take those those judgments off of certain people and the way that i perceive them and just the the way that i do things oh my god it would just be so amazing i'm currently reading mind you i'm currently reading <laughs> um detox judgment and um i literally just started today but this book has been on my heart and my spirit for a hot minute and you know spirit was like it's time daddy was like y'all know i call daddy god it's like you know it's time it's time to go there i need you to go there daughter i need you to go there all right so definitely what you're going to be experiencing today is definitely going to bring you some clarity and definitely going to help you um to allow yourself to um to pull off the judgments and allow yourself to grow. All right. I feel as though some change that you're going to be experiencing today is going to be like a, a change of some sort. <laughs> could be small for some, it's going to be dramatic, but some change. And it could be in yourself. Like you just have an aha moment of, you know what? Uh uh. Why? Why do I have to do it this way? Why do I have to see it this way? Why do I have to look at it this way? You are definitely like going inward, honey, and getting that wisdom. And I just feel like it's going to bring this change about and just go with the flow. Because where you are going, and it may be intense, doesn't necessarily have to be bad, but because mine wasn't bad, but I was just so passionate about it. I was like, I'm so fucking done with this right or wrong thing. Like, stop trying to box me. Period. 
all right? <laughs> I'm gonna be me and I'm gonna do me. And you know, I, and I had to have this conversation with myself, like Latoria, be yourself. I don't care, be you. If someone doesn't like it, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna link this video that I watched, it's 10 minutes by Abraham Hicks, y'all know I love that. It just was so phenomenal. Sometimes we can get so content with doing things for people, like even if it's our passion, but we do it for people, you know? that we lose we lose that we lose that passion that we started doing it anyway and that was one of my things that I'm always going to be true I'm always going to be true and I'm so hap happy guys I'm so happy that I'm able to um you know help you guys through these videos and all these comments and these things and it just means so much to me believe me it truly truly does but I had to get in a place and this is where someone else has to go because maybe I just feel like someone's doing something. You mean goodbye, but it's doing the opposite, okay? Because four years ago, I couldn't do this, all right? Because I had to get to a place where it was for me. I came out of the spiritual closet for me, honey. <laughs> I didn't come out of it for nobody else. I came out of it for me. And in turn of me coming out, a lot of people were blessed behind it. But I did it in my timing, all right? I didn't say, well, you know, you need Harry to do it now. Because those are judgments, all right? Maybe you've been judging yourself. Maybe you've been pushing yourself hard. So you have to do this and you have to hair up and heal and you have to do like this and you got to do it this way. No, all right? So whatever experience you're going to be experiencing today is going to bring forth some much needed change and just go with the flow because it's leading you to your sweet spot, all right? Your abundance, okay? Your inner peace, your happiness, all right? I feel as though you're just going with the flow. You're going to be trading some stuff in. And what are you going to be trading in? I, Y'all, we keep getting these cards. Y'all don't understand how much I've been shuffling. Like, there's no way that these two keeps are, keep coming out. I'm shuffling so I know for a fact that it's meant because when you whatever experience that you're going to be experiencing today is going to help bring whatever has been postponed, bring it into focus, bring it into um, color and bring it out of stagnation. All right. You're going to be releasing this burden when you make the decision. To allow yourself to grow without judgment. Point blank period. It's time for you to allow yourself to grow without judgment. Because all that judgment is just bringing stagnation. You're in a hangman position. You really can't move forward. You know, um, you, you just keep adding other burdens and other problems and other things on your back. But when you just say fuck that judgment, when you just let it go, when you just go with the flow, this will disappear. All right, you got to come into the fool's energy. You see the fool on the cliff with flowers walking down a cliff. You have to come into the fool's energy. The fool just throws caution to the winds and says, fuck it, and just goes forth. All right, adventurous, open, not caring. All right. And when you do that, you're going to be successful. So if you have a question of why or how to get to where you need to get to next, okay, this is definitely something that you definitely want to pay attention to. And I really feel like this new moon in Libra is definitely going to be bringing more situations your way to get you to pay attention to and gain the clarity you need. All right. So that's all we, you know, listen. There are no such thing as L's. We don't take losses over here at Guided Intuitions, okay? We take lessons because in the midst of that contract, in the midst of that thing that does not feel good, you have gained and found so much clarity. Tell me you haven't. I know I have because being in so many wrong relationships has taught me of the right relationships that I want, okay? Okay, one blank period. But until I experienced that negative shit, I wouldn't know what kind of person I want. You know, because that relationship had me go on a course of finding my fucking self because I was like, you know what? I got to find me because I don't know what's going on. I don't even know who I am. 
I don't even know what I like. I don't even know what I want to do with myself or my life. So it really put me on a journey of finding myself. Beautiful book came out of it. Um, my, um, my stepson Tristan came out of it. Beautiful individual. Loves him so much. <laughs> you know, just all of these things came out of it. I lost a hundred and something pounds out of it. I felt my passion and what makes my heart croak. I reconnected back with my baby, which is poetry. Like I have really like lost myself. And I stumbled upon gracefully and so happy spirituality. God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the universe, the trees, the dirt, the earth. Ah! Everybody, Buddha, everybody, I love it all. You know, I, I stumbled upon all of that. So I don't, for, I, don't, I don't wish them bad. I wish them well and I wish them so much love. And maybe it's kind of hard for you to say that, but you know what? My K-Moon said something so vital to me, you know? Um, you know, I've just been, I've been embracing this thing where I've just been cry, have a cry. Cry is a release, Ugh, it just releases. Ugh. I love, like I cry like what, before I did like that self-care reading that's coming out. <laughs> you know, I've just been crying and there's nothing wrong with me, but it releases. You know, it might be something I didn't even know that was in me. So I'm just going to cry. I just, if I want to cry, I'm going to cry. So maybe someone needs to have a cry, okay? Someone needs to have a cry. <laughs> All right. So, oh yeah, I, I should have said this in the beginning, but I totally forgot. But that self-care reading that y'all had all been asking me for, everyone that in the daily that wanted, it, that video is on my, somewhere on my channel. You go to the videos, you're going to see self, um, self-love is the best love. Okay. That is that reading that I did for you guys. I made sure that I, I inserted all of those um, individuals' energies that acts and including the ones that follow the channel and anyone else that needs to get it. But I did include all of you guys' energy. And thank you so much for all my new subscribers. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, it's, oh, my God. <laughs> I just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for liking. Thank you for embarking on this journey. Thank you for joining the tribe, honey. All right. Um, also, I'm going to get to the comments, but I have been out trying to be about with my sisters and interacting with my um, communication skills, you know, because I've been getting some clarity like, you know, commitment because, you know, I was afraid of commitment like two days ago. <laughs> you know, like I'm, I don't like to commit like, mm, you know, I would try to find something wrong with the situation just so I don't have to like commit to that person or situation and I'm like getting out of that so how do you get out of something you force yourself to go through it you know you go through it you say fuck it with the full energy and go by so I don't know maybe someone's been doesn't like commitment issues I don't really know but anyways I just always want to share with you guys and keep it 100 so I have not been looking at my comments but I'm going to get to every single one of them I've just been out with my sisters just enjoying their company and just like really I haven't even like I've kind of like been off my phone too so if you text me I will definitely be contacting you give me some time all right all right all right <laughs> so yeah I'm um, just be on the lookout for that today but I am going to pull from our goddess deck and just see what message does spirit have for us that spirit wants us as a collective to keep at the forefront of our minds today if you guys could just join me I don't know if you're at work but send up your energy oh all right, you sent it up your energy, didn't you? <laughs> oh, all right. So we got two cards, all right? We got Blast Independent. Your independency is a foundation for your strength and your and success. Ah, I like that, all right? I like that. That is so good because realizing that when it comes to independent being independent it means it's up to you it's not a I don't know that thing or as a marquee or with multiple people I don't know so don't judge me but it's all up to you you hold the power all right mm. so you get to dictate how this thing goes whatever you are looking at in this moment, you get to dictate how this thing goes. 
You. You do. Mm, that's good. That's good, Spirit. And then we have Mary Magdalene. Yeah, I love her. I always call myself the modern, um, the modern Mary Magdalene. Yeah, because I rode with Jesus. Anyways, we have unconditional love. Love yourself, others, and and every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. Now, remember, I was just talking about how. You just got to, I'm tired. I told y'all, I'm tired of this <laughs> right, wrong, black, white, good, bad. Don't celebrate Halloween. Celebrate Halloween. Oh, my God. Y'all can keep all that down yonder. It ain't coming in here. I am going to be love, 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 because love is truly my way. It ain't got to be for everybody else. But love is truly my way. We are all linked together. Ah, uh, I love y'all so freaking much. I hope that your day is so awesome, like awesome beans. <laughs> but so the daily is over, but you know, I want to chat chat with you. So down in Tampa, we have, um, you know, Bush Gardens and they do like a hollow scream and like scary stuff. Like, let me tell you something that that's not my forte. I'm like a hope for romantic. Like I don't, the only thing that I can watch scary is like zombies that don't creep me out. Like I can watch anything zombie walking dead Z nation. All right. Fear of the walking dead, any zombie movie. Oh, new. Um, what's that little zombie zombie? Like where she's it's like a detective. Like she eats their brains and then like, you know, sees what happened and how they died and stuff. Like I can watch her. Like I can watch anything <clears throat> with zombies, but it doesn't like scare me. I can watch it in the middle of the night, but like, you know, the other stuff, it'd be scaring the crap out of me. But my sisters, me and my two sisters and my two teen nieces, we are going for her birthday Friday to Bush Gardens and we're just going to enjoy each other. And like, I've been hanging out with my sisters and, you know, just talking and, and having girl time and just really like loving on them. And I just realized just how much like, oh, I just love being around in their presence. You know what I'm saying? Like goofing around, just being silly butts. So, I, so that's what I've been doing. So I hope that you take this time out to love on the people that truly mean a lot to you. Ooh. Ooh, something just hit me. <laughs> I've been loving so much. I have somebody else I need to love on. But anyways, um, you know, just make sure that you are really loving on the people that, you know, really, really mean. You know, that really support you. You know, that really are there for you when it's pretty and when it's not so pretty. Make sure you're taking the time to really love on them. All right. Give yourself. All right. Let yourself do that <laughs> all right so i love you so much my love muffins go out and have an amazing day honey make sure you hug a tree for me and you or i will hug some for you guys <laughs> and i will catch you on my channel i hope you enjoy the self-love is the best love reading honey i hope that you really enjoy it thank you for all the likes comments and shares and subscribing to my channel thank you for all the love donations you guys are like so amazing and um just thank you for scheduling an intuitive personal reading with me you guys are awesome and i will chit chat and see you guys later take care